The exhibition is to commemorate 10 years of photography within the Gibraltar Football Association. And uh, we've designed it in a way that it spreads across the 10 years evenly and uh, it should be a really good event. So the board consists of three people uh, who are all artistic at core. We have Carl, who is a, an art teacher and, uh, and a football lover as well, which always helps. Leslie, who is the president of the Gibraltar Photographic Society, um, who's, who's convened lots of exhibitions and got a lot of experience in, in judging photography and so forth. And then obviously myself. So the, the, the beauty of that is that we have uh, a nice spread across the artistic world. Um, and that's always good um, as, as photography essentially is, is an art form. The seed for the initial idea was first planted about, say, four years ago uh, in this very, very studio, actually. Um, I was collaborating with John at the time for uh, sort of first aid courses with Heart Starters. And I was employed at Blands at the time, and I remember coming into this office and seeing the picture, picture frame that you see behind me, which with the uh, I mean, 10 by 10 small portraits. Um, and, and I remember staring at that picture frame for quite some time because it, it actually I mean, it, it drags you in, really, to, to want to see each, each individual photograph. And actually, at the time, we were discussing what we can come out as a, as a memento, some, something that, um, that clearly um, gives merit to the sort of 10 years that we've been in UEFA. And I remember that particular picture, and I, I remember speaking to Stephen and the team about it, and they liked the idea of, of coming up with something iconic. Um, and from then on, it sort of evolved. I came to see John, I remember, at his office and, and telling him about the idea. We spoke about how we would um, I mean, get all these, these pictures together and then the idea developed into a fully blown exhibition. It was a very interesting procedure to, to go through this selection process. Each year had its own challenges. There were various years that were affected with Covid so there was naturally a drop in submissions in that particular year. Um, you can see that through the decade there were certain matches which had a lot more photographers than others. So we had a lot of pictures from certain games where um, we may have had many um, submissions of similar actions, pieces of action. And then there was some games where you probably can see maybe only one photographer was present and, and we just got maybe one or two pictures. So it was interesting to see, um, to see that, but also it was important to try to showcase on the exhibition um, the expanse of each, each year. Luckily, when you get creative people um, around the table, they generally all look for similar traits in what is a good or bad piece of artwork. So it wasn't that diverse. From, from the amount of submissions we had, it was relatively quite easy to select 10 and then to find the photo of the year. It was usually between the three of us, two of us had, or often, or more often the case, maybe all of us had selected the same photo. So it was quite an easy process. There were a couple of challenges though. When Julian came to us with the idea of holding an exhibition to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the Association's UEFA membership, we thought what better to do it by photographers for photographers, independently of the Association, because ultimately photographers are the guys who spend time around pictures, around football pictures, around football matches, documenting, photographing the action through their lenses, through their cameras, and they don't ultimately get much credit for it. Their photo just gets published on social media, or perhaps in the paper, or used on TV coverage, and then you never see it again. Um, it's sort of consigned to history, or to a gallery, or, or to an event for the day or in the month that, that it was relevant, and then, and then you never see it again. So within the judging process, the, each photographer submitted their best 10 photos, what they believe their best 10 photos to be for each particular season. Um, then when we got down to the actual judging process, the other two judges had no idea who the photographers were. So we had a, a random selection of images and we went through those photos. And they were basically 
it judged upon things as simple things like is the composition good is it sharp what's the editing being like um, making sure that it represents something within the story of the journey that the the gfa have had over the last 10 years and then of course there's what the judge will look for from an artistic point of view that may be independent from each judge but generally speaking, they, we all have similar criteria to, to make sure that we follow. During the submission process, as I said earlier, there were quite a lot of images that may have been selected or, or submitted from one particular game. But if, if the best photographs for that year just so happened to be from that particular game, then that was something that we had to take into consideration. Essentially, what we felt the best photos of the year are the final 10 images that you're seeing in the gallery. So the exhibition will be at the Gustavo Bacarisa Gallery and um, it will consist of all the vaults. It's going to be quite a large exhibition. Every single submitted photo will be viewable at the exhibition. The w final 100 will be printed and, and hung on the exhibition and um, there will be some specific areas in regards to domestic football, women's football, um, the photographers themselves will also have a section but there will be every single photo that was submitted there will be at various areas in the exhibition um, televisions which will have like a, a carousel of all the different images so even if photographers were unlucky not to be selected um, they will have their photos on display for the public.